Pinsurf mentioned while providing us with his vision about the future of the cloud. Just as we use Telnet uh, to connect to another computer, we should think about how we could connect to the cloud. And that would mean data sharing, starting computation, start processes relatedly, remotely, I beg your pardon. TCP IP treats a supercomputer and a mobile phone as protocol equals. With that idea, he questioned whether we need to start thinking of cloudlets as a future model, with cloud interaction functionalities being built into multiple devices, including the smallest, such as my, uh, smartphones. To move towards this, we shouldn't over-specify when it comes to cloud-related standards to ensure that they are flexible enough and that the capacity to innovate on top of standards is maintained. Core function of standards is to ensure interoperability. Open standards ensure that they are developed through a participatory process and that they are openly available to everyone without discrimination to implement. Cloud platforms should thus offer developers choice in software development uh, tools, languages, and runtimes. This is what we must move towards, but, but such standards start as protocols from the ground up, and that's a reality we must face. And before we move towards standards, uh, we still need to work our way through many difficult issues. For instance, standards to ensure control over online identity, for instance, are still being developed. This role of standards in ensuring interoperability is core in allowing consumers uh, to choose between different devices to access the cloud, to choose between different uh, software clients, and shifting between one service and another. So this would include moving information from one cloud, both the data and the metadata, to another. Cloud should be able to talk to one another, and this is a place where open standards become crucial. We, of course, cannot understand these issues in isolation. To give a very concrete example that's of concern to consumers, there's a question of user control over data on social networking websites. They should be able to say, this service has changed its terms of use. I now disagree with it. I want to shift to another service. But without open APIs for extraction of that data and open standards for interoperability, this is impossible. Additionally, one has to also deal with questions while thinking about this, about what my data really are. While my own profile information and status posts, etc., clearly are my data, what about the data about my friends that I have been granted access to? We have to keep in mind, while clouds allow for distributed storage and co computing, we have software now that allows for peer-to-peer -peer distribution uh, of the storage and computing as well. Having standards encourages such ideas which are aimed at increasing user and developer control over their own data. In this regard, there were comparisons with the freedoms that the uh, free software movement seeks to guarantee and how in present day cloud models they are to a large extent, not guaranteed at all. Also important are issues of how privacy and encryption standards are built into cloud standards themselves. With governments employing cloud infrastructure, how should they take into consideration these issues 